morning. Good morning, El Dorado. Today is December 3rd, 2015. I'm Adam. And I am Chloe, and you guys are watching Hawk Talk. Hey, Kayla, you're not looking too spunky as usual. Is something wrong? I should probably tell you this. This isn't just my complexion. My doctor says I have hawk pox. Is it contagious? No, I don't think so. Catch the hawk pride? <laughs> Feel the hawk pride. First, let's take a look at this month's senior. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Is it me? Um, Please tell me it's me. But you're not even as. Uh, you know, three years running, still nothing yet. Here's this month's senior of the month. So I think Caitlin is deeply deserving of this recognition, not just because of her accomplishments and not just because of her involvement, but mostly because of her attitude. Caitlin has a smile for everyone. She's caring, she's fun-loving, she's always energetic. She'll always be a helping hand whenever you need her. She's always hardworking, but she still has time for friends and family. She lights up the room when she walks in. Whatever Caitlin puts her hand to, she gives 100% of herself. Uh, we went to Disneyland as an orchestra, and we went to Beast Library, and we did the little quiz in there. I got Wally, and she got Eve. And we kind of panicked and shook hands and we're like friends and we've been friends ever since. Congratulations, Caitlin. Congratulations, Caitlin. Congratulations, Caitlin, on being November Senior of the Month. Hey, Adam, I'm really looking forward to seeing our basketball team play this year. Same. I would actually encourage everyone to make it out to the game tomorrow. What's so special about this particular game, though? Well, I'll give you a hint. It has something to do with this. Mm. Want a bite? How about we take a look at some taste of food? Matthew, take it away. Hi, I'm Matthew Mortensen, and me and my crew are wondering what is the best burger in Orange County? Just got this 50 50 burger right here. So, just by pure inspection, this already looks super mega awesome. This, oh my god, bombs away. The emotional understanding, I just felt so happy when I had this burger, so I'm gonna give it an A. This is a really good burger. Alright, so we just went to Pete Kids right now, and I got what they call the taco burger. It looks really good. I give it a 7 on appearance. Originality, dude, taco burger. Come on now, tell me it's ever made something like that ever before. Is it a taco? Is it a burger? Because they had taco meat, so is it a taco? We don't know. But it tastes pretty good, balance itself out. I'm gonna give that give that an eight. So we just went to the uh, burger parlor here in Fullerton and I got the old fashioned. It looks really, really good. Overall taste, it tastes pretty, pretty good. I don't know, I feel good when I eat this burger. It's a it's a feel good kind of burger. Yeah, so overall I'm gonna give this like a just like an eight. After eating all the burgers, 50-50 was the best burger in Orange County. If you want to see the whole unabridged video, go to edtv.org. Now time for some surplus news. I think what he meant to say was extra announcements. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Key Club, there is a meeting today at lunch in room 210. We will be discussing new community service events. Poetry Club. There is a meeting Friday at lunch in room 206. 
holiday jazz concert, don't have plans on Friday? Come to the PAC at 7 o'clock p.m. to support your El Dorado Jazz Band. Red Cross Club, don't forget that there is community service activity after school in room 207 on Friday. We will be making cards for soldiers. Smash Brothers Club, come to a meeting today in room 209 if you're interested in participating in an upcoming tournament. His house is having a community service day on December 19th from 9 a.m. to 1 o'clock p.m., cleaning out and organizing their garage. Creative Writing Club, there will be a meeting today at lunch in room 202. We will be discussing building an effective character, our progressive novel, and the upcoming holiday party. Toilet Paper Week! In honor of the upcoming toilet paper game on December 9th, we will be collecting unused toilet paper to donate to a local homeless shelter. Every roll counts. Bring them up to the cafeteria gates and make a difference in your community. There is a meeting today at lunch in room 406. Bon voyage! Ocean Club. There is a meeting Friday at lunch in room 705. We'll be watching Star Wars at 3 o'clock today in room 602. Come enjoy popcorn, candy, and soda for one of the greatest sci-fi films ever made. Cards for all clubs. There will be a meeting in room 205 at lunch on Friday. We have new games. Seniors, remember Santiago Canyon College is coming to do an early welcome workshop today. For those who have signed up, you'll be called to counseling earlier in the week to get your entrance ticket to the workshop. Come to the CSF Christmas party on Saturday. Go to the room 704 for more info. Now here's Rafael H. Perdomo with Jock Talk. You could just say Rafael Perdomo, you know. Who's that? Chef, yeah, who the heck is that guy? I mean, good thing I'm Rafael H. Perdomo. Look at this. Oops. Actually, I gotta get ready. Alas! Howdy everyone, thanks for tuning in this morning to another episode of Jock Talk. First things first, I would like to personally congratulate Lucina Vincent on Saturday, November 21st. Lucina competed in the CIF Cross Country Finals at Mount Sac, where she placed fifth overall, earning all CIF honors and automatically qualifying for the state cross country championships. This past Saturday, Lucina competed in the state cross country championships in Fresno, in which she placed 18th overall individually out of 191 runners with the time of 1818. Congratulations Lucina on another outstanding season. You made us all proud here at El Dorado. Boys basketball won Tuesday against Irvine with a score of 69 and 26. Oh, congratulations to boys soccer on Monday who literally scared the other team into forfeiting. Ha, <laughs> we're just that good. Keep it up, guys. Thanks for watching another great episode of Jock Talk, everyone. Let's cut the green screens. Let's cut it all. Owls off L, H, Perdomo, and back to the anchors over there. Ho, ho. Throughout the next two weeks, our school will be holding a gift card drive. Every donation will go towards PYO USD's McKinney Bento organization. This charity helps those families in need right here in our own school district. In this season of giving, this is a great way to help others. So make sure to look for the giant candy cane at lunch where you can turn in your donations. In this same season, we've got a lot of cool activities coming up. And that includes Winter Formal. Here's a look at this year's theme. How deep is your love? Is it like the ocean? What devotion are you? How deep is your love? Is it like Nirvana? Thanks for tuning in to another super chill episode of Hawk Talk. I'm Chloe Cayeta. And I'm Adam Gorne. Stay warm, El Dorado. It takes a lot to make a stew. A pinch of salt and laughter too. A scoop of kids to add the spice. A dash of love to make it nice. And you've got too many cooks. Too many cooks. Too many cooks.